No, you can't classify art as not a thing. It's a feeling. What feeling? Well, you could... Ah. Uh, that's why you're stuck. Loss at sea. So I like how they conceptualize the robot um, or AI or whatever it is that they consider it. It definitely feels like it's very close to the, the near future. It's like if Alexa was in the form of a person. Um, and I like how they made it realistic through the use of makeup. And also his performance was very convincing as non-human. Um, and then you could see the shifting to his dysfunctionality was showcased through his movements and, um, you know, a bit of the effects effects that they use to heighten his movements. Um, oh, leading us to this very disturbing ending. I like how we always had like that B story underneath of her past relationship was just kind of carrying the story through these memories, interchanging with the present story and how the relationships like differed immensely between her with this robot AI you know Alexa type thing versus how she was with her lover and you know there's a definite eeriness to this um piece overall um yeah <laughs> this film Lost at Sea is about a girl who is dealing with the loss of a boyfriend I think and um her AI helper is messing up a lot and making her more miserable. Um, the film depicts the deep loneliness and unexplainable feelings that come with grief um, that can only really be helped on someone's own timeline um, and also shows the very dangerous and scary effects of this kind of artificial intelligence. Um, it is very Black Mirror in the idea of it and it has a very similar vibe to that. Um, the laughter at the end after the AI robot was self-destructed was extremely creepy and I think it made for a really good ending. Uh, Project 408, or sorry, Project 405, I was really, really swept up into this. Um, I thought it was really, really fascinating. I liked that they didn't like come right out and say exactly what the situation was exactly what the relationship was and things like that they kind of let you piece it together um obviously with his very very robotic movements and tone and everything i like that you kind of quickly put that together that you know this is some version of a personal robot of some kind um but then like as you're kind of moving through it you can tell that she's obviously grieving and she's obviously you know dealing with a loss of some kind and you know trying to navigate that but then you also get these flashes of him as this robot not really understanding those types of human emotions and not really understanding like art for example and it's one of those questions that is really hard to describe if you're asked point blank it's like trying to describe the color of something without the person you're describing knowing what that color is or what it looks like. Um, I think it's something, it's a concept like that that is very, very hard to describe, but it is something that you instinctively kind of know that it is art. Um, like I, even talking about it here is is difficult to describe. So I think that having the kind of robot struggle with emotions like loss and grief and struggle with not understanding where he's crossing a line or and struggle with understanding what art is and things like that and her not knowing A, how to explain it and B, not really engaging afterwards, um, I think adds to a really, really interesting like conflict that obviously they're eventually going to get in and um clearly that is in fact what happened and the the just utter chaos and everything that that kind of delved into or devolved into 
I think is exactly how it would have gone if that situation was, you know, a real thing. So I really enjoyed that. And I truly believe that she would just want to live in this kind of alternate reality and that for his part as the personal robot as Theo, like that is what his what he his goal was is for her to be happy and i think that to a certain extent he did achieve that in a way um but obviously you know probably not the the, the best way but i really enjoyed it this piece was called Project 405 Lost at Sea. This was a clever, intriguing short. It was an excellent blend of realism and surrealism. The lead female performer was grounded in reality and the actor playing Theo did a fabulous job as the clipped eccentric character. I love the editing in this one, especially in the scenes of Theo's frenetic energy. There was a real sense of loss throughout and with a sci-fi horror twist. The pulsing soundtrack really heightened the drama I love the paintings in this one and the debate about art in the script. I would love to see more work from this group. Well done, Project 405, Lost at Sea. Check it out.